All right, so part three of the unit, uh, or the section, but the first one dealing with direction uh, and pilots and things like that. So uh, first thing we're going to talk about is um, actually just getting used to determining direction and, and this new type of um, giving direction of where your vector is heading. So um, let me do this. Okay. Um, so... Uh, first thing I'll note is determining heading will say that if I use heading, that is from the north and we actually go clockwise. So just Throwing that out there, kind of a definition or a vocab. Heading is referring to due north is zero, and you actually work your way clockwise around the circle. So um, the unit circle is always, you know, the positive x-axis, and uh, you're headed around counterclockwise. So um, where it says dealing with direction vectors, we have two primary methods. Um, that is specific to these two. There's really three ways if you want to account for the uh, x-axis and like the unit circle style. But the two here, the azimuth and the bearings, um, the first one would be, uh, let's talk about bearings. So if I were to have seen or been given N45 degrees E, now you might see exactly that uh, in a problem. And that just is read off you almost read it kind of kind of backwards like right to left um, but what it what it's saying is that you are pointing 45 45 degrees east i'm not sure what's going on with the screen Sorry about that. Not sure what just happened with my screen. Uh, 45 degrees east of north. So N45E um, is saying that um, 45 east of north. So you start at north. Remember headings, you always start at north. Um, and if it says 45 degrees east, that means you go to the right 45 degrees. If you were to say, um, there is another way of doing this, and that might be, say, uh, S 20 degrees W. That means that we are 20 degrees west of south. So in that case, um, 20 degrees west of south. So here, we, we say we start directly south. But we need to go west. So we're going to go clockwise this direction, 20 degrees. So we're somewhere around here now. So that would be how you would, one way of describing um, these angles. Um, if we wanted to look at the other way of looking at this, say, um, so if we had, let's see if I can draw this. Um, oh. Let's change color. So if we had our traditional, more unit circle style, and let's say we went um, out at this angle, and we were used to calling this oh, 80 degrees. Right? So from the positive x-axis, we went clockwise, counterclockwise around 80 degrees. Um, this azimuth method would be, uh, we would actually call that, rather than calling that 80 degrees from horizon, um, that would actually just be, um, tell me to write that, 80 degrees So instead of 80 degrees from horizontal, um, I'm going to say that it was just 10 degrees 
or actually zero one zero you'll see it written that way so these mean the same thing and it's it's more of your traditional uh, just zero one zero or ten degrees um, if it doesn't specify anything about a heading north south anything like that uh, if you just see 10 degrees like this that means that you are heading 10 degrees from north and maybe let's try this actually um, just so we can get it all on one page one one graph we're going to call that zero one zero degrees and that's here okay so same graph Rather than 80 from horizon or the horizontal, you've got 10 degrees from north. Um, hopefully it does make sense at this point. If not, I think I'm going to do one more example. Uh, we'll end this video and then we'll go on to the um, actual examples of planes traveling and things like that. Uh, let's see. We've got, we'll do, we'll do red. Um, so we're going to do drawing like this. And if we wanted to look at, say, a vector down here, um, we need to go all the way around to this, our more traditional, you know, from the horizon all the way around. Um, that might be, uh, say, 200 degrees, right? Because uh, 180, and then let's say we went a couple more, so we're at 200 degrees traditional. Um, if we wanted to do that in our azimuth, that would just be um, let me change that to green. There we go. Um, just like our blue. See, for our blue, we went straight from north. We started to go clockwise. We only went 10 degrees. Here, we've got to go all the way around 180 plus some more. So we got to figure out what that plus some more is. Um, if you go all the way around to that uh, negative x-axis from north, that's 270 degrees. Uh, but we we know that, or we can figure out this was uh, 20 sub degrees inside there that we didn't. So rather than going 270, we got to take off 20 from that. So we would be at 250 degrees. But that's it. I mean, you just draw it like that in terms of your bearing or your azimuth, sorry. Um, so that's it. I'm going to pause the video here and we'll pick up in the next part with our first example.